Our senses are constantly being bombarded by the sights and sounds around us, including advertisements that have been carefully crafted to grab our attention. But in a busy world, do we always notice? Everyone is looking at their phone. What we are trying to do here is to convince people to stop looking at their phones and record what they have in front of them. BCN visuals are based in Barcelona, creating 3D displays all around the globe. And now they have a new canvas to work on, and it isn't without its challenges. What we did is think about round, you know, round things, round shapes, so we can place in there, and it would look like we have done something specifically for this. When it comes to the storyboards, was quite challenging. Instead of doing the pre-production on, on this round sphere, we made it look it was flat, so it could be easier for us to think about the ideas. And wrapping the content around the sphere wasn't enough. We need to make it look like there was like the sphere that would open up as if it was a gate and would show you everything it's got in the inside. The company made its name over the past few years with campaigns in New York's Times Square and other major locations around the world. They specialise in a technique which creates the optical illusion of three dimensions. But now that's taken to the next level. I mean, it's huge. People can't miss it. It's huge. You have to get what's on the screen right as well. Yes, it's huge. Every little detail, it's a three meters detail. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, there was like a kind of mistake, let's hide it with this or let's add a layer. You cannot do that. Everything needs to be perfect and it needs to be seen from all angles, even from a plane. This is a lucrative ad space, which can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars a day for companies to take over. To achieve their complicated design process, BCN Visuals brought in talented 3D animators from Hollywood to help bring the characters to life. Stephanie Catratos has previously worked on movies such as Shrek and Ants. How much of it is in tricks in the animation and, and what you can do with technology and how much is it just, you know, standing with the lights hitting the screen a certain way? We have a bag of tricks we use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an illusion. And, and we are illusionists, like that, that's really, that, that's our magic, that's what we do. We've worked on these screens multiple times. We, we really understand the screen and the point of view and what's going to work the best for that screen. So we, we try to find that few moments where we can break the fourth wall. We're, we use a lot of different techniques depending on what the brand needs. Uh, so we can we will layer of effects over that. Also 3D characters on top of that. It's about building up a world and we use everything. Effects, lighting, animation, compositing, editing, all of that to enhance the image. Yeah, you want people on the street to have a sort of wow feeling or, or some sort of emotion <laughs> yeah. through what they see. A uh, surprise, a uh, connection, um, just an amazement. You know, wow, how did that happen? I don't have a pair of 3D glasses on. With their displays so big and hard to hide, the team don't get rehearsals. So to help make sure the illusions work, they use virtual reality to experience and test their creation. One of the big problems we've had is when we are about to deliver the campaign, we have to test it. The clients want to see it, our team wants to see it, and of course, watching it on a flat screen is not the same. So we decided to replicate the areas we're doing, for example, Times Square, every detail as possible, so then the clients and our team can experience exactly what they will see, like a live testing. Yeah, and I can have a shot of it as well. Yes, of course, go for it. Oh wow, so I'm in Times Square now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And now you should be seeing the Avatar campaign. So now, yeah, the video is happening. So this happened in 13 Oh, wow. So markets. they just jumped out the water. Yeah, that's right. And the water's gone everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Something's hands just come out at me. Yeah, it's like a possessed hawk. Oof. 
That was cool. When I'm meeting with some advertising agencies, people spend most of the time trying to come up with, an, with a good slogan. In our case, I always tell them, there's no much time to, to spend on thinking about the good slogan, because first you've got to grab people's attention. The story is even more important in a two hours long movie. Selling a, a shareable moment that people want to record and want to share with their friends, but also on social media. And that is the secret as to why companies are willing to pay so much for this ad space. Not the people who will see it actually in Vegas, but on videos shared all around the globe.